Welcome to Matters Financial and Geopolitical from a Frontier. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you recovered from yesterday's rather long podcast. I remember my English teacher, Mrs. Davis, who was a wonderful teacher, once called me verbose. And she probably wasn't wrong in hindsight. I did an interview yesterday about the fast moving and fluid events in Gabon, the failed coup. When I got on, it wasn't clear it was going to fail. But I said a number of things. One of the things I said was the captain has been out for a few months now and that we're watching a very dynamic situation unfold. And indeed, we continue to watch a dynamic situation unfold as long as he's absent, I would have thought. And then I drew a correlation between Gabon, Sudan, and the DR Congo, and I said, what we're watching across this continent, whether it's Gabon, Sudan, or DR Congo, is a kind of tipping point moment. Um, and uh, I certainly think that Gabon, the street is not powerful enough to unseat the president, so therefore you would expect something like we saw yesterday, uh, Sudan, uh, the street is obviously on fire. The question is, can they sustain it? And in the DR Congo, um, uh, we've got another very fluid situation, and Kabila so far has managed to keep a lid on the street. The question is, can he, in the event that he announces his Dauphin as the winner, in a situation where it's widely expected that the uh, Shadari only got 20% of the vote, and my point is, you know, given that he had the power of incumbency, 20% is a single-digit number. I also participated with Sami Sedan. It's a pleasure to have caught up with him frequently in the last few days about Zimbabwe's land reform. Uh, that link is also on the website. Currency markets euro dollar 114.50, having topped 114.80. Dollar index 95.86, Japanese yen 108.79, Swiss franc 0.9814, the pound 127.64, Aussie 0.7126, India rupee 70.045, we've got an election coming there, South Korean won 11.2407, the real 3.7355, Egyptian pound 17.916, and the rand holding below 14 at 13.9394. This is a dollar index chart from Pinecone Macro. It's been a three session losing streak. We need to base out around here. Euro dollar, this is a chart from T Commodity who was predicting uh, a move up to uh, beyond 115, but I think 115.40 caps it. And then Peter Brandt is talking about the January effect on the Euro dollar. Gold, 1283.285 last. Crude oil, $48.54. It's been on the rebound of late, as you can see from the chart. And tea commodities predict predicting that coffee looks ready to move higher. Indian 10-year government bond yield rose 19 basis points. That's a big move. Its biggest increase in nearly two years on fiscal slippage worries. That's from RV analysis.